Number three is I don't disrespect my vessel, my vessel being my body. Your body is the container for your frequency. And I can't tell you how many people get so stuck in the mindset work and completely forget about their bodies. The thing is, is that your body is the vessel to your soul, to your consciousness. Your body is the vessel to your spirit. Your body is so important to be taken care of. And I used to loathe my body. I used to abuse my body. I used to just see it as a mechanism of just looking good in life, right? Um, A mechanism that Um, As long as it looks good, it doesn't matter what my state of health is because that's just what the physical body is. It's for the way that you look. And I, ever since I lost my health, thankfully, temporarily, when I had BII, which is the reason why I took out my breast implants, breast implant illness, when I went through that journey, I was like, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Your body is all about how you feel. Oh my God, it's so much more important than how you look. It is how you feel feel. Guys, when I was laying in bed, having zero energy, nothing in me to get out of bed, having vertigo, suicidal thoughts, crazy limiting beliefs, just no desire to live, no energy, getting out of breath, just going to the bathroom, having to cancel every single work-related appointment that I had because I literally had nothing to give to the world. I had nothing in me. I had no energy. I was losing just words, basic words in the human vocabulary. The English vocabulary just weren't coming to me. Um, Forgetting what I was talking about completely. Just my health completely deteriorated for about a year and a half of my life, like got really, really, really bad for about a year and a half. And I would say it slowly deteriorated over four years, never again, never, ever again. Ever since I got my breast implants out, you guys know it's been five years now. I've been in the wellness world religiously trying everything, (laughs) testing everything, getting all my blood levels tested constantly, my urine tested, my stool tested, doing parasite cleanses, doing coffee enemas, um, all kinds of stuff. You know, being in my sauna, Um, ever since I, you know, uncovered, especially postpartum that, you know, I was having trouble losing weight. I got into peptides. I got into detox protocols. I eat organic grass fed, high nutrient dense foods. I hired a private chef recently so that I could avoid, cause I love, I hate cooking. I love eating out, but the oils that people cook with the microwaves that restaurants will use, Um, the pans. We don't know what pans they're cooking with. There's so many aspects to eating out that just are unknown to us when we go and eat. Like we have no idea where the ingredients are coming from. So that's been a massive game changer is um, Brennan and I hiring a chef who comes once a week and just meal preps for us. And we have just really good quality food. I've noticed even in the last few weeks since she's been here, what a massive difference it has made to my energy levels to, you know, my weight loss journey, to my ability to think clearly, to the way that I feel, the quality of emotions that I experience in my day-to-day life, just the, just so many aspects that we don't think that is tied to the food that we're putting into our bodies. Um, I'm really particular, you know, about making sure the air in my house is clean. I have air filters throughout my house. I um, get my house checked for mold now, which is really crucial and important that most people don't do. Um, The quality of my water is extremely important. I now have a device that adds hydrogen to water. So I drink hydrogen water, which is phenomenal. You can look into the the research around that. I take lots of supplements. I get plenty of sun. I uh, ground my feet in grass. I know I look like an absolute hippie and probably sound like an absolute hippie, but oh my God, it's so important for you to get morning light to get raw sun, like raw dogging the sun for 10 minutes a day. You can put sunscreen on after 10 minutes. Of course, it's not about frying in the sun. It's not about getting burned. It's just getting that high quality UV light that helps us convert um, into vitamin D in our body. It's really crucial. Uh, Look at the connection between low vitamin D levels and a lot of mental health issues. There's a huge correlation there. 
um, huge connection. I get eight hours of sleep minimum. In fact, most sleep studies, fun fact, have been done you know, with men, not women. And so it's been found that men need seven to eight hours of sleep, but women might actually need between eight to 10 hours of sleep per night. And we are absolutely not getting enough sleep. Um, It's ridiculous how little sleep we're getting. And I get so pissed off when I'm not getting eight hours of sleep because I'm like, ah, it's the most important thing in the world to me. Um, I move my body. I get plenty of exercise. I cannot live without exercise. I love exercise so much. And I know I sound crazy because I know so many people in the world who hate exercising, but even just walking. You don't have to be a lifter or a Pilates girl like me. You don't have to step foot in the gym if you just walk. And if you live in an environment where you can't get outside because it's too hot, like me, um, or it's too cold, it's snowing outside, They sell walking pads on Amazon that you can get for, I don't know, 40, 50 bucks even, probably even cheaper. And of course, the brands all range in prices. Just put that thing in front of your TV, okay? You can literally watch TV. You can catch up on your favorite show. 30 minutes to an hour is such a great amount of time. And you just walk on the walking pad. You're like walking in place. It's like a treadmill, but it takes up way less space. And again, doesn't cost as much as a treadmill, doesn't take up as much space as a treadmill. And you're just walking and you're getting exercise and you feel great. You feel so good and you're catching up on your show. So it's that habit stacking that everyone loves to talk about. Um, Detoxing regularly. Oh my goodness. It doesn't matter if you have had mold exposure, glyphosate toxicity, or any sort of other environmental toxin that you are particularly struggling with. All of us are now exposed to environmental toxins. I think it's like the big, big, big thing that I wish more people were talking about. You know, the circles that I'm in, of course, everyone is talking about it, but I just know most of the world has no idea that we are literally breathing in nanoplastics through our air. Okay. We don't even have to touch plastic anymore to be affected by plastic. Heavy metals everywhere. Terrible, terrible, terrible things. And so it's important for us to constantly detox from environmental toxins, Um, just integrating it into your own routine. So whether it is going to a sauna or getting a sauna for your own home, there's various different saunas. The one that I have is incredibly bougie, but I know that there's much cheaper ones that you can get. You can get sauna blankets. Um, You don't even have to have space for a sauna. You can literally get one of those sauna blankets and just lay it on your bed or lay it on a, a surface of some sort just lie in it for half an hour a day or even just a couple times a week or even just once a week is a massive game changer because then you're opening up your detox pathways. You know, taking clay baths, like there's a particular magnetic clay that I use, which if you guys are interested in you knowing the exact products that I use, of course, let me know. I'll, I'll be happy to link them in the show notes. Um, magnesium chloride, look into not using Epsom salts. I don't use Epsom salts because I've heard that they emit gases that aren't necessarily good for you. And they're actually man-made. They're not like a natural mineral that comes in nature. So magnesium chloride is actually, it comes from nature and it gives you the same magnesium that an Epsom salt does. And it will draw toxins out of your body the same way that Epsom salt does, but it doesn't have the toxic nature or at least the toxic, potentially toxic nature. I haven't done much research into this. I just heard someone say one thing and I was like, oh shit, that makes sense to me. So I'm going to switch to magnesium chloride. And then zeolite powder is another thing. I think it comes from volcanic ash. It's this compound or this thing, this powder that I take. I put it in water. I drink it um, one scoop per day. And what it does is it's like negatively charged and it... uh, magnetically attracts negative ions or however it works. Okay. You guys can do your own research. (laughs) Don't expect me to explain this eloquently for every single topic that I talk about. It draws in the negative ions that are coming from heavy metals and parasites and all kinds of junk that can be in your body. Um, And it doesn't attach to vitamins and minerals. It's very safe. Like kids can take it. So anyway, something else that I do. I really respect my vessel. I really take care of my vessel now. And I clearly the last two years postpartum have been has been such a journey because I'm like, what the fuck's happening to my body? Like, I don't like this. I don't feel good. I don't feel good in my body. Something needs to change. 
Um, you know, yes, of course, it's a weight loss journey, but more importantly than that, I I'm telling you right now, it's less about how I look and it's so much more about how I feel. And how I feel is my frequency. So when I feel good, my frequency is high. When I don't feel good, my frequency is low. I'm more likely to do good in the world when I feel good and I'm more likely to not do good in the world when I feel bad. Make sense? I feel like it's basic math here. 